and invasive species societies helping the South Okanagan Similkameen branch of the SBCA tackle two invasive plants with spike seeds that are a big risk to pets. Cheat grass and puncture vine has long been a problem on the property and boulevard where volunteers take dogs for walks. Uh, we've tried hand pulling it. Um, we typically miss the, the window in which to do it. We don't have the manpower and uh, it's definitely a, a big problem that we can't handle by ourselves. SBCA volunteers have been working hard to check the animal's paws, in their nose and ears, but the dogs can be really prone to infection when the spears of cheek grass embed their way into the fur. It's, it can be a problem. We've definitely had dogs that have gotten ear infections from cheek grass being in their ear canal. Um, you know, I've heard of really bad cases where it gets extremely infected, it can go up into their lungs, um, it can puncture their stomach lining, so it's definitely a really big risk and uh, something we want to deal with. Puncture vine seed pods can get lodged into a dog's paw and be quite painful. They are very hard and they're tack-like and they will actually pop bicycle tires, they will go into the soles of, of footwear, so you can imagine the damage and pain it can inflict on a dog if it goes into its paws. Oasis crews grab bags, shovels and gloves to help properly dispose of the plants and seeds completely covering the grounds near the SBCA. Yeah, we're really hopeful that um, this provides an opportunity for uh, dog owners and dog lovers and, and uh, the community at large to better understand invasive plants, how to identify them and the impacts that they can inflict on us, on our pets, as well as on the environment. For Castnet News and Penticton, I'm Casey Richardson.